This episode is brought to you by Kia's first three-row all-electric SUV. The Kia EV9. With available all-wheel drive and seating for up to seven adults. With a zero to 60 speed that thrills you one minute. And available reclining lounge seats that unwind you the next. Visit kia.com slash ev9 to learn more. Ask your Kia dealer for availability. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, so the title, What Would I Do If My Nudes Got Leaked Out? And to talk on that, so like, yeah, scenario, but just know this right now. This situation has happened to me before. This happened to me when I was 14. And it's kind of embarrassing to talk about because I'm like, dang, bro, I really had set myself up for failure. But at the same time, I was 14. I had just got into the internet. I did not know things like this would go down. So yeah, like it, it's, you know, it's crazy. It happens to people, but yeah, I'm like, but I'm, I sit down, I think about it. I'm like, it's embarrassing, but I see, I'm like, fam, like celebrities, like at the top of their, like the peak of their co- like career, like the top of the level of their career and stuff, you know, they literally have a spotlight on them and it will happen to them. You know, like, look at that uh, one situation that happened down, um, that happened years ago where all those celebrities, like, all their stuff had got leaked out. I, bro, it was like, I, I remember on, so, like, a name would trend, and I was thinking, like, most likely some stuff got leaked out. And sure enough, uh, it was, like, celebrity after celebrity after celebrity where it's, like, things are just getting leaked out of them. And you know what? Here's the thing, though, because I feel like, there's a difference between a guy and a girl, you know, like there's a man, a guy isn't going to care, you know, but at the same time, like, no, there's guys out there that do care because there is a story that we'll talk on where it's like, you know, it took a turn for the worse. But um, I feel like it's more with a woman because I, I just feel like with them, like they like, I don't know, like it's everybody has insecurities. I'm not trying to say that, you know, women have more. But I just feel like with them, it's a little bit more serious than with a guy. Like, a guy is all like, okay, like, you know, my junk is out there. So what? It's like, I don't care. You know, there's a lot of guys out there where it's like, that type of stuff won't matter to them with me. That's why it's like, you know, let's put myself in a scenario where I'm talking with a girl. We start having one of them conversations. We um, start trading. And next thing you know, at some point in time conversations uh you know taking a turn for the worse we end up having a falling out argument all that stuff and i i don't know knowing me i'm gonna mess around and say something disrespectful and that i because i feel like that would be the only reason why a girl would even do something like that to me is that i didn't say something disrespectful i done roasted her she said something to me like let me think for an example she she says i'm a failed youtuber and I'm like, well, fam, you were literally talking to a failed YouTuber. So look at the standards that you're having in your life right now. Like I'm having, I'm having a conversation with my imagination right now. Hold on for a second, because now I gotta see how this goes down. But anyways, I'm like, you're literally having a conversation with a failed YouTuber. Look, look at your standards right now. You can't even get to the point to talking to a top YouTuber because nobody. All right, I, I probably wouldn't say no stuff like nobody cares about you, but because I, I, I feel like that's that now that's hurtful. That's hurtful to the imaginary girl in my head i am sorry i did not mean to say that but no but let's say she doesn't take my apology you know the conversation got so wrapped up i said that nobody and then she's like why everybody gonna care about this next thing you know i'm seeing photos of myself getting leaked out and i'm like dang she took it there wow and here's the thing because I know I have a spotlight on me. It might not be a big spotlight, but I know I have a spotlight on me. I would not want that because usually when you hear about those people, and I wouldn't even create a fake account because I'm like, at the end of the day, who else is she sending that um, stuff out to? Me. Unless she's one of them freaky girls that just be talking to a lot of different people. But I highly doubt that, you know, anybody else would do some stuff like that. So if her stuff were to get leaked out, everybody's going to be looking at me. 
you know, like, so that's why, like, I, something like that, I couldn't do that, I couldn't leak out somebody, so it's like, yeah, she sent me some stuff, I'm like, I wouldn't do that to get revenge back on her, you know, and I know people would ask, like, how would that make you feel, like, you're on social media, and literally all your friends and family and whoever, you know, they're seeing, like, you know, nude photos of you and stuff, and I'm like, well, dang, <laughs> like, I, they just gonna have to see it, but I'm, I'm like, I can't do nothing about it, I'm like, okay, I'm like, I can no longer send stuff to that girl no more, I wouldn't even talk with that girl anymore, but, yeah, it's like, I just, you know, I just be like, all right, well, you know, there, there you go, I'm like, I just mean, I'm saying, like, I, it, it's just not gonna matter with me, because I'm just in a point in time in my life where I don't care, and I'm like, and that's the thing, where it's like, I'm not ashamed of my body, I'm not ashamed of how I look, I'm not ashamed with what I was born with, you know, like, at the end of the day, if people, you know, see my junk, people see my junk, if they have an opinion about it, I'm like, you is a weirdo, I'm like, I'm saying, like, that type of stuff, I have to say, probably the only people that I guess that would be interested in seeing, you know, explicit photos of me will probably be a woman that finds me attractive they will probably be that that would be the only reason why i would get views in that category of the internet but no like other than that i just feel like that um it just you know to everybody else it wouldn't matter you know and i'm like and i i would address it i would talk i'm like hey yeah some photos got leaked out of me i literally can't do nothing about it i'm like that's on that person you know and I know people probably ask, like, would I take them to court? And I'm all like, hey, you know what? Going through all that trouble. And I'm all like, they're obviously in a point in time in their life where they're struggling. So I'm like, mentally, they're, yeah, they all just, they're all messed up. And yeah, I'm like, they gone. And that's the thing where it's like, they're going to have to live with the fact that they did that. You know, they on the day. The thing is, is like when people do things like that, you do not know how that situation is going to go down. So yes, I am a don't care person, but not everybody in this world is like that. And that's why I wanted to talk on the two stories where I can't remember the kid's name where it just happened to him recently, but there is a girl back like years ago. I think this happened either, either when I was in middle school or high school. It might have been high school, but regardless, um, anyways, there was a girl named Amanda Todd. I will never forget that story. That story, it like sits with me because I'm like, why would a person do that to this girl? Like, I'm saying, like, this girl literally had her whole life ahead of her. Whole life, bro. Whole life. And the fact that she ended up taking her life because somebody wanted to, you know, be evil towards her and send out explicit photos of her to people she went to school with and they're bullying her over it. And I think she ended up going to another school and there was the same situation there. I was like, that situation was so messed up. I was like, bro, why? That girl literally had her whole life ahead of her, man. Whole life ahead of her. And people, I'm like, it, it's stuff like that where it's like, you need to understand that when you do things like that to a person, you don't know how that situation is going to go about. Like, it, you, yeah, you thinking, okay, they're going to probably not care and stuff. But I'm like, no, that person, and then with the situation just recently where it was a guy and it happened to him, it was like some 14-year-old kid, I think. But anyways, um, I don't know how old the kid, I think he was 14, I don't know. But anyways, same scenario, Um, you know, he was talking, same scenario with Amanda Todd, talking to somebody, they asked for some photos, he sent them they threatened, I don't even think they had leaked it out yet, but they threatened to, and the kid ended up taking his life, and I was like, just, man, why, and then to talk on my situation, you know, I mean, obviously, I'm here talking about it and stuff, and it's, you know, it's just messed up to hear that other people, same thing happened to them, and they took their life, because I'm like, you know, you shouldn't have to live with that, you know, that somebody is that evil, it's like, yeah, that person's that, you know, that evil, they're gonna have to live with that, at the end of the day, it's like, they're gonna be sitting down thinking, like, I, you know, did that to that person, and it's gonna, you know, it might not be at the moment, but it's gonna be at some point in time in their life, where, they're like, they start feeling so bad about that, you know, because they'll, see a situation that's similar to that and they're all like oh my god that's horrible and then they start thinking on the stuff that they did now they trying to like scrounge through the internet finding oh let me see if this because i'm pretty sure whoever the person is that did it to me 
there's probably been some stuff that didn't happen to them where it's like, why is this happening to me right now? What did I do to deserve this? And then it's going to randomly sit, think, they're going to randomly think about it like, dang, I really put his business out there like that. But anyway, so yeah, story time, you know, to tell my story and stuff. So I'm 14 years old. I just got into high school. Of course, the main thing that's on a boy's mind in high school women (laughs) like i ain't gonna lie i'm not even gonna be like oh i'm thinking about my education and going to college no i'm thinking about girls i am thinking about women i'm like bro this is it this is when it all starts it is gonna i'm bro high school gonna be crazy it's gonna be just like the movies and stuff it wasn't high school was horrible but anyways so uh but no like anyways and then also on top of that i'm just getting into social media so I had created a Facebook. I had I just was getting into YouTube. I think I already had a Twitter account. Um, but yeah, like I was, bro. I was freaking like just like just on a full like just ex- like train express of just like you know a teenager's life and stuff. So, anyways, um, yeah. So fa- it happened on Facebook. I, yeah, it was Facebook. But um, anyways, so random uh, account. I don't know if it was a girl or a guy. If it was a guy, I'm like, bro, you is mad weird for that. Like a girl, okay, like, you know, but a guy, I'm like, bro, like, why is you asking that of another guy like that? Nah, man, that, that's just weird. But anyways, a random account. Uh, had messaged me, and I guess they were, yeah, they were, so they were portraying that they went to my school, of course, because I didn't know any other kids in no other schools, so, yeah, they were portraying that they, um, went to my school, which I, I think they, obviously, they did, um, but I don't know, I really don't know who I was talking to, like, to be honest and things, but anyways, um, had asked for some photos, and yeah, I sent them, you know, me being stupid, I sent them, but I'm like, if an attractive girl, uh, you know, because they had it where they were being, you know, they in the profile, it was like some girl, and I was just like, dang, she is pretty cute, so um, yeah, I was just like, oh, okay, you know, freaking, I'll just, I'll send it and stuff, sent it, and I can't remember exactly when, but I remember, and it was out of all people, a girl that I liked had seen the photos, and I was like, oh my god, bro, nah, but at the same time, I'm like, dang, like, she really seen that, like, I, like, a part of me was just like, I didn't care, but at the same time, I'm like, man, that is just so, like, just, it's crazy, like, why, because I'm not gonna say I, like, I felt bad that she seen that, I'm like, if you seen that, I'm like, I right, fam, like, I, right, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, you know, like, I really don't, and it wasn't even like me and her was just on bad blood at the time, but it just, you know, I just felt like that there was like, that was gonna be one thing that will always be brought up in the conversation and stuff, so that's why I was like, well, dang, man, I'm like, I don't, I really don't know what to say, I'm like, it, you know, it's messed up that it happened, and that's the thing where it was like, I know a lot of people probably ask, like, was your face in it? Yes, my face was in it, okay, like, I am 14, I don't know about this stuff, I don't know how to, I don't know how these things work, I'm like, now, I'm like, nah, you ain't getting no face, you ain't gonna go and use, um, use me for whatever reason and stuff, I'm like, nah, man, it's like, I, no, <laughs> I'm like, I ain't, I, I ain't, there's ever a time where I am talking to a girl and conversation gets to that point, I'm like, no, ain't no face gonna be happening in them photos and stuff, but anyways, um, yeah, it was, uh, you know, it's messed up, but, um, yeah, you know, overall, I dealt with it, and I wasn't, you know, I hadn't really thought about it in like like up until now I'm like this is like this is honestly like the first time in years I thought of this because I'm like I I'm trying to think like I probably have thought of it at some points in times but it this it's been the first time in a while since I think I you know I thought of this and stuff so anyways um but yeah then the account got deleted I remember the account was like gone at um after some point and uh yeah overall, I was like, dang, man, (laughs) this is messed up, I'm all like, why is this stuff gotta happen to me, what did I do to where I deserve this, I'm like, bro, I had just got into this school, and I'm saying, I'm like, already crazy things happening to me and stuff, so that's just my advice out there to any and everybody, you know, especially my younger audiences, if there is ever a time where a random account message, and you do not know, even if you do know the person, if you guys don't have a relationship going on to where stuff like that is normal, 
you know, like, then, and if they're asking for faces, I'm like, then, I'm like, nah, then you ask for some faces, too. I'm, I'm saying, but don't leak this stuff out, okay? No, never mind. Like, I, I take back, take back, see, I ain't gonna, no, I ain't gonna go down that route. Uh, it was a part of me kind of got, like, you know, being a little petty and stuff. I, I still got my pettiness, you know, in me and things, but regardless, um, but no, like, just don't even do stuff like that, and it's like, don't do that stuff until you're married, you married, and yeah, <laughs> like, then, and I'm like, you know you're gonna be married to this person for life, all right, so, but, uh, anyways, yeah, it's, you know, it, it's just kind of, like, crazy sitting down thinking, like, dang, man, that happened to me, but, I mean, if that stuff were to happen now, I'm like, all right, I guess, like, you know, it's crazy that that had happened, but, I'm like, I, I've had people try to like, I've had people accuse me over some dumb stuff. So if something like this were to happen, I'm like, I've already had people talk bad about my name. Somebody want to do some stuff like that to me. I'm like, hey, I'm not like, you're just joining, you're just joining the club of other people that hate me. So I'm like, I don't even care about it. So, but anyways, yeah. And that being said, I will talk to y'all later. No promos because this is a serious episode. So thank you guys. Stay tuned for the next episode and peace. Thank you.